Hi Gemini, this is your October 28th to November 3rd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love venture in your life. Spread number two is for those of you who are already in a relationship or married. In the third spread, we'll talk about somebody coming back from the past. Uh, this week, spread number four is uh, work, business, and finances. And the fifth, the final spread, will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So, uh, this first spread is on new love this week, Gemini. Maybe not that new <laughs> for, for some of you. But, uh, yeah, this spread is supposed to be new love. Anyway, uh, the Nine of Cups, uh, clarified by the Page of Cups, uh, are the first two cards that came out. Then we have the King of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Hierophant in the potential outcome. We have the Two of Cups with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I got a little confession to make. Gemini. It's one of those times. It's one of those times when I did not feel like pulling cards for the potential outcome. I just didn't feel like it. I barely ever feel this way and it was one of those times because I thought it was going to be a waste of time. Because the cards that came out in the main spread, those five cards together with the uh, card on the bottom of the deck, they tell the whole story. They really do. That's it. I didn't need those cards to see where you're gonna take it because with the cards that came out in the main spread plus the uh, ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck i, I already knew <laughs> where you guys are taking it you're definitely taking it towards a commitment all right but the the cards and the potential outcome they simply confirm that they simply confirm that i'm actually glad to see those cards in the potential outcome all right this is your future spouse gemini Plain and simple. This king of wands, clarified by the knight of pentacles, this person is your future spouse. Or somebody you'll be committed to. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. End of the reading. <laughs> I'm joking. But let's talk about this real, real quick. But uh, it doesn't make sense to talk about it for too long. Right, so the king of wands, clarified by the knight of pentacles. That's the person. So it could be a fire sign with earth, or an earth sign with fire. Right, uh, the king of wands, yeah, generally it is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. The Knight of Pentacles is an earth sign indicator, towards Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart, so maybe they have both. But uh, if we want to stay general, then the king of wands is going to make a very, very serious offer with that Knight of Pentacles. This is what's in this person's mind. This is what they want with you. The Knight of Pentacles is the most long-term oriented knight out of all four knights. This person wants long-term with you. And uh, this week they will make sure you understand that. This week they're going to tell you that and this week they're going to take steps towards showing you that. They may offer you a commitment this week. They may offer you a commitment this week because we have three commitment, three marriage cards on the table. Not one, not two, but three. Okay, and one of the commitment cards showed up right there in the middle as the last card in the main spread, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a commitment card. The Hierophant is a marriage card. Could also be a Taurus <laughs> you're dealing with. Now, the Hierophant is a card of tradition, religion, spirituality, education, but like I said, it is a marriage card. And so is the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and so is the Ten of Cups right next to the deck. Okay, we start with the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups. Yeah, we start with the Page of Cups, so they're going to invite you to go somewhere. They're going to approach you if you are meeting this person while they're out socializing. All right, the Nine of Cups is also a card of a wish come true, by the way. It is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment, and it could also be a card of some kind of an event. Right, in some tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around the table enjoying the meal and celebrating something. In some other tarot decks and the Nine of Cups, people are standing around and celebrating. Right? So maybe that's where you're meeting, or maybe that's where they're taking you. Uh, but, uh, or it's simply a wish come true right away with that Nine of Cups. Okay? And the rest is history. It really is. <laughs> there isn't really much to talk about with so many marriage cards on the table. And uh, besides the three marriage cards, we also have two soulmate cards. In the potential outcome, the first two cards are the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Both are soulmate cards. Okay, both are soulmate cards. And uh, the Two of Cups is also a card of unconditional love. 
Uh, the Two of Cups is the card of when two people are on the same page and feel the same way towards one another. So if it really is a brand new person entering your life, it's going to be an instant connection. Love from the first sight from both of you. Gemini. All right? Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Gemini, this spread is for you. We have the Page of Swords, uh, clarifying the Ace of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Empress, clarified by the Lovers. And we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with any, any Zodiac sign. Any. Absolutely. Whatever your person's Zodiac sign is, that's the person you're dealing with. And there could be uh, an addition to your family coming up at some point in the future. That's just for some of you. That's just for some of you. Okay, because we have uh, the Page of Swords and we have the Empress. Right? The Empress is um, a card of a mother figure, an existing mother figure, or a future mother figure, or both. You could already have kids. And uh, the, uh, the Page of Swords could be a child. All right? So a mother figure with a page in the same reading, yeah, there could be a child on the way. <laughs> But again, but it's it's not for all of you. And what's what's interesting um, about this reading? I don't know if you watched the first one, the first spread, the new love spread. In that spread, I kind of hesitated to pull cards for the potential outcome. In this, during this spread, I just couldn't stop pulling cards. <laughs> I just couldn't stop pulling cards. I don't even know why I clarified the Empress, but I'm glad I did. It's clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers is your major arcana card, Gemini. But at the same time, the Lovers is like uh, one of the best cards uh, when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a soulmate card. It's a twin flame connection card. It's also kind of a choice, but I don't see you choosing anything. No, I'm, I, I just don't. Unless something you're choosing is... Um, <clears throat> where you want to get married or where you want to live together or um, if you do have a child on the way maybe you're picking um, like furniture for your child <laughs> or something like that or clothes for your future kid or something like that if there's no ch if children are out of the question for this week at least then uh, um, you guys could be taking it to the next level Right? Maybe you're taking it to the next level. The Ace of Swords could be a very straightforward, very direct conversation. The Ace of Swords sometimes comes through as the word yes. Okay? Um, the Page of Swords could be a card of uh, communication. Um, somebody could be saying yes. Maybe you're trying to buy a home and you're applying for a home loan and uh, you will get the yes from, uh, from the financial institution, right? From a bank from a credit union, right? And uh, you're gonna move forward. You're gonna buy your home, your new home, your first home or your second home, I don't know. Um, the four of wands in the middle is a card of a commitment of marriage. It is a card of a wedding. It is uh, the 1111 card. And uh, it could be an engagement. It could be you getting ready to move to your new home <laughs> or something like that, right? The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle, or it's a card of literally going somewhere. It's a great spread, Gemini, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex, and it doesn't even have to be an ex in your case. We got uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Star, and uh, <clears throat> we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius in particular. Doesn't have to be, but we do have the Star, right? The Star is an Aquarius major arcana card, and the King of Swords could be any air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Anyway. We have a bunch of kids. <laughs> we have a bunch of cards with kids. All right, we got a couple of pages here: page of cups, page of pentacles, and we have more children in the six of cups. Clarifying the page of cups. Perhaps it has something to do with children. Maybe the two of you already have children together. Maybe um, it has something to do with like a child's birthday, or maybe um, a play date, or something like that. All right. The thing about the Six of Cups, it is a card of somebody from the past. It's also a soulmate card, but it is a card of somebody from, from the past, right? Um, but uh, the Six of Cups is not necessarily an X. It could be an X, doesn't have to be. It could just be somebody from the past, all right? 
And uh, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of a party event, gathering of some sort, celebration. And uh, the Nine of Cups is a wish come true card. <laughs> and so is the Star. The Star could be... Some of you may already know the same card could be interpreted multiple ways, even in the same spread, right? So the star could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a wish come true. The star is also a card of healing. Healing, all right? So this looks good. I like it. It's it's a very positive reading. If, if There's definitely kids here for some of you, okay? If there's no kids, uh, then those pages are invitations, presents... You know, and all that type of stuff. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Gemini, this week. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have Temperance. We have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Sagittarius or any zodiac sign. I think you will be hearing from somebody who left in the past. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what's happening. Um, the Eight of Cups, the first card I came out, uh, is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Whenever the Eight of Cups shows up first, in the very beginning of a spread, I pretty much always interpret it as like an Eight of Cups in reverse. I don't do reversal cards, I can read reversal cards, but the Eight of Cups is like somebody is back. Somebody left, but now they're coming back. Okay, because they failed, they failed. The Five of Pentacles, clarifying the Eight of Cups, is failure. They are out of money. They need money. They need a job. Then perhaps this person left and uh, they decided to strike on their own, and again they failed. Or if they started a new job, perhaps that job turned out to be a nightmare. Or that uh, company they left you for, left for went bankrupt, or that company laid them off, or fired them, or s something among those lines, right? Or maybe uh, you two got into some kind of a major fight. It could have been like a business partner, or, or another company uh, that you dealt with. So they're coming back. They're coming back, and they're coming back in peace, right? They want peace. Temperance could be a Sag you're dealing with, but Temperance is a card of healing, Reestablishing balance, it's a card of reconciliation, it's a card of bearing the hatchet, and that type of deal. The way they see you uh, is the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think that's the way they see you. You're like still glowing, you're still on your pedestal, <laughs> you're still doing good, maybe even better, maybe you're doing even better now than when they left, right? The Nine of Pentacles is a fantastic card. Right, and uh, they're coming back with that ace of wands and the ace of pentacles. Right, they mean it. They mean it. Perhaps they have a couple of ideas, not the ideas that failed, but uh, with those two aces, they will try to uh, get back into your good graces or something along those lines. I don't know what you want to what you want to do about this, Gemini. I don't know, but uh, just talk to them, see what the, what they have to say. But I think this person is desperate. They're desperate. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Gemini. But at this point, I think you're already expecting it. <laughs> anyway, we got the King of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So if that King of Wands looks familiar to you, that is because we saw this King of Wands in the first spread, in the new love spread. Remember the new love spread when I didn't feel like pulling cards <laughs> for the potential outcome? It's a different deck, by the way. I use different decks for different spreads. Whenever I see like repeating cards, repeating spreads in the potential, in the, I mean, in the, in the last spread, which you're not expecting, it's simply, I guess, a way of the universe to confirm that yes, it is actually happening. But for some of you, it could really be unexpected. Maybe you're not expecting this, right? But uh, the King of Wands is coming in. Right? With the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Really good combo, if you ask me, because the Knight of Cups is the most loving, the most romantic knight out of all four knights, so do expect a very, very romantic gesture. The Page of Pentacles could be a piece of jewelry in a small box. It can be. Or it could be like tickets to a game, to a show, to a concert, or something, or maybe they will give you a key to their place, to their apartment, to their home, or a key to their heart. <laughs> All right. Uh, the four ones on the bottom of the deck, it is a card of a commitment of marriage. 
All right, yeah, that's uh, that's what you're not expecting, I guess. Or it's simply a confirmation that yes, it is it is happening, Gemini, this week. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week, Gemini. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have a fantastic week.